Major leaguers have off years all the time, a year where the production dips from the normal or, as they say, back of the baseball card numbers. Good players bounce back and do all the time. But three off years? That's usually called a decline, and it's normally irreversible. That's why Matt Carpenter is such an interesting player. Let's do a little digging in. Matt Carpenter is in his age 36 season. He was once one of the best hitters in the National League. In 2013, he led the NL in hits, doubles, and runs scored. He had a high walk rate, an excellent on base, and pretty good power. Between 2013 and 2018, he averaged 150 games played a year, had a 131 OPS plus. 100 is league average, so 131, that's all-star level. He had a 379 on base, slugging 472, and in that six-year span, he was seventh in all of baseball in run expectancy. More hitting volume than players like Bryce Harper and Giancarlo Stanton. That's why the fall off seems so drastic. Here's a balanced offensive player who's getting older, but he controls the strike zone and then he fell off the cliff. Here is his OPS plus in 2016, 2017 and 2018. You can see and I put the games played up there too, but look 136, 120, 143. He was extremely consistent. Again, 100 is league average. That's all star level. Then 92, 79, 63. Not only that, the Cardinals were playing them. Look at the games played. I mean, not the full season, but 120, 50 out of 60. They only played 60 games in 2020, 130 last year. They were trying to get him back. He wasn't injured, but he couldn't hit. But look at what he is doing right now for the New York Yankees. It's a small sample, but in 30 plate appearances, he's slugging over 1,000. He has 27 total bases in 30 plate appearances, six home runs in his 24 at bats. This for a guy that was playing minor league ball for the Rangers organization this year. Now, Carpenter is fortunate to be playing in this era where aging players and all players can find some answers. Ken Rosenthal detailed Carpenter's search in a piece in the offseason in The Athletic. Basically, Carpenter needed to adjust to greater velocity and spin, learn to generate more of his own power in his swing, and he needed to cover up a couple of holes that he had developed in his strike zone. I know it's a lot. It's multidimensional, but he seems to have found the right mix. Again, it's early, but already Carpenter's comeback is remarkable. Age 36, below league average, again, for three years. Very few players have done this sort of thing in the history of the game. A few that I've found, and this is from the players who, for the most part, were dealing with injury and other things. There were a few players, though, who bounced back in their mid to late 30s after being lost for a couple of years. Andres Galarraga, the big cat, Davy Lopes, Eric Davis. It happens, but it's rare. Even Joey Votto, who was cited in that athletic piece, spoke to Carpenter about his comeback as well, had only dipped below league average one season before bouncing back big time last year. But Votto and Carpenter might be on the leading edge of something new. Older players dealing with the decline, but able to figure it out and all the things that encompasses using all of the latest tools.